Hello, good evening, friends. How are you? Very appreciated. How are you? Fine. How are you doing? Fine. So, we are in boys' room uh, with uh, Kalyan and uh, Akhil. Uh, please sit and uh, study. You know, Mr. Kalyan, I would like to just ask you some questions. Uh, how are you doing? I am fine, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You please introduce yourself uh, to the students who are in India. They would like to come to uh, Gomel, so you please introduce yourself and say when did you come to Gomel and how is the admission process, how is the climate over here mm -hmm. and you please tell about the Gomel and the Belarus, so every student in India want to know what is going on in Gomel, when they want to come to Gomel, what exactly you, they want to have a picture of uh, Gomel, so can you please uh, tell the uh, students. Uh, when you come first, yeah. Hi, my name is Kalyan. I am from Warangal. I am happy to come here on September 24th. Um, when I first, uh, when I came to this Paras, it was very cold and I thought I couldn't live here for more than two days. But unfortunately, within one day, I have settled here. Uh, the weather was, weather here was uh, like uh, habituated to me. Uh, it's good here and main study, coming to study. Yeah, studying in Belarus is more mm, nice than India. In India, we don't have any pra practical knowledge, only the study, IP knowledge. In Belarus, but, well, in Belarus it is completely practical knowledge. See, in every structure in this textbook, they will show every structure with practicals, bodies and bones, everything. They will show everything. Um, yeah. But what are the subjects uh, they have started now in uh, uh, your first year? In first year, uh, actually before starting for first year, I am going to say about second year. In second year, uh, we will have clinical knowledge. For clinical knowledge in this country, uh, we should know Russian language. And uh, some medical terms, we should know Latin language also. So for this purpose, in first year, they kept Russian language and uh, Latin language and English for some people. Uh, uh, Russian language here is very important. Most of the Russians don't know English, only they speak in Russian. But lecturers here talk very good English. They have exam in English too. If they only pass English, they come to lecture for us. Um, so how is the communication between the lecturer and the student? Mm -hmm. Can you able to understand the lecturer's uh, yeah, right. language? Do you yeah, have right. any problem in understanding? Uh, no, we don't have any problem. Lectures here are like uh, not like Indian professors. They are rude and very strict towards us. But here lecturers are like friends. Uh, they will say everything and anything. They, even they do our personal works also. If we have any problems, we can discuss it with the uh, lecturers. And, uh, Exactly, how many students are in one group, you know? Uh, in each group, uh, there are maximum 12, minimum 10 members. Okay. In our group, uh, we are 6th group and we have 10 members in our group. And our group members are, our group leader is Ravan, and our group members are me, my, Akhil, Satish, and Bharat Chandra, Ashish Tiwari, and uh, 4 girls, uh, Priyanka from Kerala, and Grace Mary from Kerala. Rajeshwari and Gitanjali from Hyderabad. So you are uh, 10 students or 12 students? We are 10 students. 12 students in the group. So ten, ten. Yeah. 10 students, are how I mean, how the teacher is taking uh, for 10 students? For here, every group is having 10 students or they are having 30, 40 students? No, every group is having only 10 students. Ten uh, when it comes to lecture, uh, lecture is, uh, it takes like uh, three groups All mixing groups. in a one class, like three, three groups means one class, yeah, 30 four. members. Okay, so um, how you are going from the hostel to the uh, university? Uh, how far it is? From hostel to university, we have bus facilities. Um, it is easy if we take bus pass. It costs about two lakhs, two hundred twenty thousand rupees, like uh, eleven dollars. Okay. Uh, eleven dollars, that's it. Eleven dollars is for one month. Uh, only yes. for one month. So how much time it is taking to go to the university? Uh, from here it takes about thirty five minutes. Thirty five minutes. Okay. If you want to uh, go very faster, uh, other students are saying that there is some mashrut ka. So uh, yeah, there is a mashrut ka, but uh, in the it's like uh, our private buses, like in uh, Hyderabad, mini buses. Uh, like the, uh, mini buses. Uh, they won't see any passes. If you have pass also, you should buy ticket in that. In mashrut ka, it costs about four thousand rubles, four thousand five hundred, five thousand rubles like that. About the about the distance you travel. And, uh, sir, uh, five, 
5000 rupees means how much is going to come around uh, mm, 5000 rupees two, means uh, 1 and half 2 dollars that's it yeah 2 dollars uh, but we can go faster huh? how much uh, yeah we can uh, we can reach in the to university about 15 minutes or 16 minutes like right? okay. approx okay okay so what about your uh, food uh, what are you doing with the food you know um, breakfast lunch and dinner how you are doing uh, it's some complicated <coughs> thing for food uh, morning uh, our classes start at uh, 8 o'clock uh, we should, most of the students uh, go by bus only. Uh, it takes 36 minutes, so we have to go out earlier. In, instead of the, in order to go out, we should make our breakfast very early. Sometimes uh, we'll make our breakfast at night and we'll eat that in the morning because here the climate is very frozen. You know, food, food items here won't damage that soon. So we'll, eat, we'll make breakfast at the uh, evening and we'll eat it in the morning. In lunch, actually, we eat like uh, some small items in our college canteen. And in dinner. So, what are the items uh, you can get in college? Uh, uh, or canteen? Like uh, lunch. And chicken burger, and cutlets, um, and uh, sweets. Um, like, you know, same as our Indian mm -hmm. canteen, but uh, here food items are somewhat different and tasty. Okay. Night, uh, what, what are you doing in the night? Uh, and, dinner, uh, dinner, uh, dinner we'll make our dinner by ourselves uh, it will mm, it's, it's good uh, if we make dinner by ourselves because uh, it will be very expensive if we take that from hotel or from uh, outside it is not healthy also so we'll make our dinner we have a big market here uh, named Gipo it was like uh, a supermarket like a uh, mm, Lens, food world, uh, like that. Um, so how much distance it is uh, the supermarket? Uh, it's just beside the hostel. We can see it from here also. Okay. Um, and we get everything like uh, um, Indian rice, uh, sambar masalas, um, sugar, um, salt. Every every item from India except that dal. It, here it is very costly and now it is very cheap here. Non-vegetarian. Okay. Uh, so, what are your uh, timings uh, of uh, uh, college? Uh, college timings, uh, uh, it, uh, morning, one day, it takes, like, in one day, it uh, changes every day. Um, today, we had our class at uh, 9 o'clock, but tomorrow, we had class on 8 o'clock only. Okay. Day after tomorrow, it's 7. And, in uh, what time you are going to have every day class? In the evening? Today, we have to 6.40, tomorrow, it's going to be 5.10. Day after tomorrow it's going to be 5.30 and day after that it's going to be only 2.40. Okay. It varies from day and lecture. So monthly how much uh, uh, food cost uh, it will come mm. to you? Oh, only for food purpose it costs about 5,000 rupees. Yeah, 5,000 Indian, Indian currency okay. and this other 1,000 currency for your external things. So totally in one month around 6,000 rupees. Uh, yeah will be enough uh, for the one enough. student? Uh, 6,000 is more than enough. More than enough for the student. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. 100 dollars. So, okay. And then any message to the Indian students you, can, you want to give to the Indian students and the parents? So what uh, What is your advice for them? Uh, my advice is if you are thinking about this, making your um, medicine in other, other countries, uh, I'd like to say you can select this government state only instead of that China. In China, it's uh, not good. Um, they'll keep about 40 students in one classroom. Here, it's only 10, and every uh, they'll keep concentrated on every student. Uh, exam. Uh, if you for parents, if you send your student here, he will be like a rock in this medicine. medicine. Um, he'll be a, he'll be a great doctor in India. Yeah. How was the cooperation of the senior students? Is any ragging here? No. How, what do you think uh, no. about the? Uh, you, you came first time to the hostel and all. So how do you feel about that? Uh, actually, the when social I came, life. When I came to hostel, I was afraid that uh, your seniors are going to be ragging me. How can I leave him here? But seniors are here like uh, uh, brothers. Um, uh, they are taking a uh, good care to us. Uh, uh, no ragging at all here uh, because if we see in uh, our country people how we feel in uh, another country, uh, it's good. No ragging at all. Senior so the seniors are helping you and then they are uh, they are helping in every way to us. Okay. So the student Akhil 
from uh, Hyderabad. Uh, you please introduce yourself and then please tell about uh, something about the Google and the University of Hyderabad. Hi, this is Akil from Hyderabad. My name is Akil. Gomal is a very nice place and Balaris is very nice country. Here the people are very good and climate is very good. Mm, and uh, my and our college is very good. My our dean was very good, very very helpful for us. And our seniors also very helpful for when I was came to here. I was so afraid. First of all, how to live here? How to how the rules and regulations? I didn't know anything else. First thing. Uh, I didn't know English properly also I'm learning here the classes are very good very good going on and our lectures are very good very nice so how go you are managing with your uh, food uh, breakfast lunch and dinner or you are cooking yourself or uh, uh, what is uh, your system of uh, food in the early morning we are getting from the gipo outside bread and jam in the night time dinner we are cooking preparing very preparing good. ourselves very good. So, uh, how much uh, uh, time it is taking to go to the college? For your... 35 minutes. 35 minutes. 35 okay. So, what is your message to the Indian students? So, uh, how much is the uh, monthly costing, you know, for if you prepare your own food for the taxis or to the, um, what do you say, you want, whatever the utilities and then mess, mess charges, pocket okay. charges, pocket money. So totally, how much uh, monthly it will come? Almost it's seven, seventy, seven thousand. As in currency. As in seven thousand mm. rupees if you have. No, currency. as food, full, full accommodation, food and bus pass for total is as per seven thousand. Seven thousand Indian mm. rupees. Yeah. Indian rupees. Is that enough for? More than enough. Okay. So, what do you think about uh, the classes? How were the classes with? Uh, yes, uh, the classes are very good going on. Our lecturers are very good, very good speaking and good speaking English. Almost no one else in English know here. Only our lecturers have known, lecturers know the English. So you That's can understand it. the English? Yes, so there is no we are understanding. understanding. Yes. Okay, Mr. Ake, thank you very much for uh, uh, giving interview and uh, I wish you good luck in Gomel. Be a good doctor and come to India and wish you best of luck.